a Muslim village where our young people are not going to be inundated with pornography. Inundated with pornography every time they go on the internet. A village where women are going to be in hijab. You're not going to see any woman walking around in this village half naked and three quarter naked. Hmm? A village which will produce its own food. So the children who are growing up in this village are going to be healthy, no supermarket food. And our own milk, no hormone injections, and our own meat, no genetically re-engineered feed for our animals. Hmm. They call this organic farming. We can even export our produce. If you want to establish the Muslim village, you want to establish Islam in the Muslim village. You want to survive the storm of Gog and Magar. You want to survive this relentless oppression of the world today. In order for Allah to protect you, you have to do something. The Prophet said, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, he said, I leave behind me two things. So long as you hold on to them, you'll never go astray. I leave behind me the Book of Allah and my Sunnah. Al Arkham in Malaysia did not pay sufficient attention to this. The Book of Allah and my Sunnah. If you have a religious practice, which is not based on the Qur'an, which is not based on the Sunnah, then regardless of how beneficial it may be, and the Sunnah of Muhammad If you do that, يَنْشُرُ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ Allah's Surah Al-Kahf says, Allah will shower you with His mercy. And Allah will protect you. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may plant this seed into your hearts tonight. So that from this lecture may emerge the Muslim community which comes out of Surah al And You may establish that. You don't have the land in Singapore to do that. Forget it. Forget it. You have to go and look for land where land is cheap. Where there is water. Where land is cheap and where there is water. And there you build a Muslim village. And you can then in that Muslim village when a man marries a woman, a young man marries a young woman, how different it's going to be. When they come together, they will pray, Oh Allah, give us a son, give us a child. We'll grow to one who will fight battles for you. When that child is born, the husband and the wife will now come together to ensure that our son is grow, grows up like a strong tree. The child is fed with the Quran and the Sunnah and the Masjid because the Masjid is in the heart of the village. And from the Muslim village will emerge the warriors who will liberate one last announcement. This is my latest book. Just came out of the press about two weeks ago. Jerusalem in the Quran. This has all of the information in last night's lecture and tonight's lecture. Secondly, if you want to establish the Muslim village, you have to establish Islam. If you want to establish Islam, you've got to establish the Quran in the Muslim village. My teacher of blessed memory has done the work. He has delivered the handbook, the manual of how to do it. It's entitled The Quranic Foundations and Structure of Muslim Society. If volume one is a little bit too difficult for you, put it aside until later. But volume two will tell you how to establish the Muslim community in the Muslim village. And that book is outside.